time to work our brain, brain. <laughs> as you know, as we get older, some of the speed of our thinking, that left-right brain connection, can start to get a little sluggish. Certainly not the same as what it was when we were younger. So we're going to do a couple of little brain exercises now. These are great to share with other people, great to share when you're in a group of people for a laugh, great to do with your grandkids or your kids. So the first thing that we're going to do is you're going to give me a pointing finger. So one finger pointing and the thumb on the other hand. So we've got a thumb and our pointing finger. And all we're going to do, as simple as it sounds, is swap them. To so swap them over. One thumb, one finger. Some of you are still fiddling with your fingers. I know you are because that was me when I first did that one. So let's change them over. One thumb, one finger. Most importantly, do not get frustrated with yourself during this one. Okay, I think I've given you enough time to get it, so let's change. One thumb, one finger. <laughs> How are we going? <laughs> don't get frustrated, please don't give up. Change, one thumb, one finger. Check them, because some of you may think you have it right and you actually don't. <laughs> this is the way the brain works. Let's change them, one thumb, one finger giving you a little bit of time to get yourself sorted. One thumb, one finger, change them. So your goal with this one is to be able to get a little bit of speed with it. So change, change, don't worry if you can't keep up, change, 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 change. You will get to the point if you practice this one where you can get it to this speed. Relax your arms. So yes, you can. When I first started doing this one, I had terrible trouble. I almost felt like my fingers were going to tie themselves in knots. And your brain, you can feel that brain struggling with just something that is just so simple. But give this to a young person and they have no problem at all because the left-right side of that brain is really well connected. As we get older, we start to lose that and then can start to come a little bit of a decline with our cognitive processes. So these little simple things are designed to actually help you keep as much as what you can. So second one, let's grab our nose. So one hand on the nose. Take the other hand, take it across and grab your ear. So I have one hand on my nose, one on my ear, and simply I'm going to swap them. Nose and ear. How difficult is this? It's not easy. I know I'm making it look easy, but I've done it before. Let's swap them, nose and ear. Some of you have gone for your eye, some of you have gone for your cheek, some of you may have hands on two ears, giving you time to get your nose and your ear. Swap them. So change, nose and ear, are we there? Swap them, nose and ear. And swap them. Don't worry if you can't keep up swap them. So with this one we're crossing the midline as well. So we've got that midline crossing to help the brain connect again. Swap them. Like the other one, your goal is to get to the point swap where you know where that nose and the ear is every time and there is no delay in the thought process of grabbing your nose and your ear. And yes, it can be done. Some of you are sitting there going, it is impossible. <laughs> no, it isn't. It just takes time. Like the other one I gave you with the, the leg and the foot going in opposite directions, working 
that side of the brain, getting it to do two tasks at once is how as we get older, we can really help keep all of our cognitive processes in good working order. Remember, we need to work our brain like we do all of the other organs in the body. We need to keep it healthy. And one of the simple ways to do that is these little simple games. Try it next time you're in a group. Every time you get together for a cup of coffee, give it a go. Get everybody involved. And you will start to find your brain will become a little bit sharper. You'll think quicker. And can't we all do? We can all do with a little bit of help as we get older. So have some fun with that. And I shall see you in our next segment. I hope you enjoyed that, everyone. Make sure you press that subscribe button on your screen so you don't miss a thing. I'll see you in our next session.